24, is it? Sounds like Billy Milligan. Wonder what kind of man he was, with that many personalities. I'd like to have talked with him. Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Deadly Premonition. Last time, we did some side quests, got some cards, uh, we visited the General's scrapyard, and got a new car. However, I had recorded the next video, or so I thought, except it turned out that I forgot to press the record button on the capture program. So, I saved the game, and I had to, uh, I had to redo the entire game up to this point. So that was fun. Uh, anyway, let's restart the investigation from where we were last time. Well, where we are now is we are standing in front of Emily's house during a rainy night, and we do know that Emily does try to make dinner for herself during rainy nights, so she needed our help last time to make something good. Let's see if she needs help this time. Really, this video, uh, video should have been up a number of days ago, but didn't happen. I'm making sure, however, that I did press record this time. It's definitely going. And I have backed up the save of the game onto a USB stick, so that won't be happening again. Anyway, here's Emily, and yes, it looks like that she does need our help with tonight's dinner. Hey, Emily. Something smells good. Really? I'm trying to make a meatloaf this time. A meatloaf, huh? Nice. That's a basic dish for every household. Yep, my mother cooked it pretty often, too. Would you like to give it a taste? Uh, again? Uh, well, I can... Don't worry, I've done the poison testing already, and I made something pretty tasty last time, didn't I? Emily, maybe we should do this another time. Mm. So, mm. how's it taste? Mm. Emily, I have to admit, this one is hard to comment on. One can insert it into their mouth, that much is certain. But I'm not sure if the human digestive system can handle this and digest it. <sighs> oh, come now, Emily, no need to get depressed. It's just like last time. We just need to identify the missing ingredient, and that might turn today's cooking into a tasty dish. So, what is it this time? I'm thinking a vegetable. One that becomes sweeter when heated. A sweet vegetable? <sighs> I have no idea. Then Zack and I will bring it to you like last time. Okay, I'll keep trying by myself, too. So, Emily's second side quest is again helping her with her cooking. And she needs a vegetable that becomes sweeter when heated. Fortunately, we did spend time at the milk barn buying a lot of ingredients. So, we're sure to have what she needs. Vegetable that becomes sweeter when heated, that would be an onion. Emily, the answer is onion. Onion? The meatloaf is finished. And it tastes good, too. It really is good, isn't it? Probably good enough to sell. Emily, this certainly tastes good. But if I were you, I wouldn't quit my job to become a cook just yet. It'll be a tough career move. You think so? I'd like to get other people's opinions, too. I can't recommend that. I'm trying to be polite about this, you know. Then you should stick to being polite until we finish eating. I can't believe you're the only person I have to eat this fine meal with. Zack, we search for ingredients for her, and we help her with her cooking. We even went as far as to praise the taste. And yet she still gets angry. Are all women this way? Do they all just snap like this? Either way, I can't figure her out. Agent York, I'm sorry if I got a little emotional on you, but I'm glad I was able to make a good meal today. Uh, 
I know this isn't much, but please, I, I want you to have it. Yeah, it isn't much, but hey, it's another trading card and we are trying to get all of them, so it's something. Not as good as the first reward, the Hawaiian suit. I guess that was the point. I think York was trying to scare people out of uh, going outside when it rained. But anyway, that's Emily's second side quest. And uh, it's a rainy night, so there's not too much else to do. But there may be a few things. Oh, and by the way, we did buy that new car last time. Here it is. The Milk Barn Van. So, the Milk Barn van comes with new music. We now get to drive around, so life is beautiful. It, uh, handles a bit more sensitively than the, uh, than the cop car. You can turn much more easily. However, its parking brake cannot do the 180 turn that the cop car does. The top speed is a little faster. We can see we're going 60, which is a little faster than what the cop car could do. Overall, it's a better car. However, it does not have sirens. It does not have the boost that the cop car had. Speaking of cops, since we paid Emily a visit, we might as well uh, talk to George. He wasn't very happy to see us last time, but... Uh... Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? Mm -hmm. Well, the gallery closes at 1700. But there's no real reason to hurry. We need to pace ourselves for an investigation yeah, There's no reason like to this. hurry because we missed it. Missed it a long time ago. George, which do you prefer, mustard or hot sauce? You didn't come all the way to my house just to ask me that. You don't have other things you should be doing? Of course I do. But I'm interested in you right now. Interested? Agent Morgan, look, my mother is sick. If it's not urgent, I'd rather we did this later. Is she very ill? Well... I have to say, it doesn't look good. I'm sorry to hear that. Anything I can do? No. This is a private matter. Can't ask for your help. You know, back in D.C., people always came to me for personal advice. I'm here to help you if you let me. There's no need for that, Agent Morgan. Please. You need to... Abide by the rules, right? Okay, I get it. I didn't mean to invade into your private matters. Oh. George, I just thought you could use a friend who wasn't a dumbbell. Back when I was a kid, my mother really liked this flower. Flower? Yes. Small flower, no name. It grows somewhere here in Greenvale. Although I must admit, I've never seen it actually growing anywhere. I think it would make my mother happy if you could get her that flower. George, that's good. Great idea. Every woman likes to receive flowers. You know all about that, right, Zach? In any case, this is a personal matter. Make sure it doesn't interfere with the investigation. Of course not, George. But I'm going to find that flower for you. And George has another side quest, this time one that we can do uh, for him at home. There's a flower in Greenvale somewhere that perhaps George's mother would like to see. Well, we did find a flower in the rain not that long ago, and, uh... Alright, he closed his door, but uh, let's just have him open that up again, because we do have a flower. Alright, there it is. I don't think George would be interested in the sternum. Let's give him the flower. George, here it is. The nameless flower. Agent Morgan. No need to thank me. I did this on my own, during my private hours. Tell your mother I hope she gets well soon. Yeah, I'll do that. This will make her feel at least a little better. I sure hope so. I really do. Take this. It's an emergency police radio. If you're ever in trouble, use it. And I'll be right there. Thank you, George.
Now, Agent Morgan, don't take this the wrong way. It's not an emotional thank you gift for helping me with my mother. I'm giving you this so we can do our jobs more smoothly, that's all. Well, he got George's flower, but uh, he still doesn't seem to be very interested in being our friend. Oh well, he did give us something for it, the radio. Now, what does the radio do? We'll be taking a look at that a little later. But for right now, there is a certain location that I'm interested in going to. We haven't been there yet. We uh, know that there are two bars, two nightclubs in Greenvale. One is a Swery 65, which we've been to already. And the other one that Polly mentioned to us way back at the beginning, right there, the Galaxy of Terror, owned by Thomas's sister Carol. That would uh, that was closed for most of the game so far, but ever since the town meeting, it's been open, uh, so we can visit it now. So that is our next destination, which we can go to because it's at night. And even though it's raining, it'll still be open. It's one of the few places that remains open during the rain. You notice that, uh, Thomas... Oh, hold on. We have Nastasia Kinski and the lead role of Paul Schrader directing. That's right, Sam. Cat people. About a woman who turns into a leopard when she falls in love and then eats the person she loves. I thought it was wrong. Right it's right there, Sam. Nastasia was perfect for that role. Casting her made that movie a success. Alpha McDowell as her brother was also a good call. He's like a parent three with that special Hollywood makeup. about Clockwork Orange. Malcolm McDowell, come on, it's pretty obvious. Blue Thunder. Came out in 1983. It was directed by John Barry. Malcolm plays the bad guy in that one. He just totally outshines the hero of Roy Scheider. At least I think so. I have to say, not many people agree with me about Blue Thunder. Zach, if you disagree with any of my opinions about movies, just come out and speak your mind. Okay? Just speak your mind. Well, I've never actually seen Blue Thunder, or Cat People, so I could not really give any opinions on those. I don't know if many people think of Blue Thunder when they think of Malcolm McDowell, though, because he's been in a lot of movies. Anyway, here's the Galaxy of Terror. Let's check it out, see what's going on inside. Oh, it's Carol. And wearing something a lot more fancy than when we saw her before. <sighs> oh. Well, Carol seems a lot, uh, angrier than she was at the town meeting. <sighs> oh. Well, that's a shame, but, uh, hey, Thomas is over here, and he looks like he's, uh, looks like he's tending bar. Well, Thomas is always willing to talk to us, so let's Hello. have a chat.
Alright, so, we have a number of drinks. They all do the same thing. They keep you from getting sleepy for a long time. And a number of meals, which, uh, affect your hunger in different ways. The, uh, the one that'll refill your hunger the most will be the white fish word I'm not going to try to pronounce, and, uh, we are very low on our hunger, so we should take that one, even though it's the most expensive. Mm. 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 And... take the, uh, the cheapest drink, the gin and tonic. Now, we saw that Thomas did have the side quest marker above his head. So, uh, looks like there's something else that we can discuss with him. Hello. <sighs> Thomas, something on your mind? Actually, Agent York, something has been bothering me recently. Bothering you? How? Well, there's this customer who always gives Carol trouble. Is it affecting business? He probably doesn't mean to, but, well, yes, to answer your question. You're an officer of the law. Why don't you just arrest him? Well... You see, he's not exactly breaking the law. No violence. He hasn't physically attacked her or anything. I understand, Thomas. If it's bothering you, then I'll take care of it. What? Aren't you busy with the investigation, Agent York? That won't be a problem. So tell me about this unwanted customer. Well, he isn't here right now. He usually comes in after 2100. I'll take a look in from time to time. Okay, so it looks like that there's something that we can do for Thomas. There's someone who's been coming in and harassing Carol that York says he'll, uh, he'll do something about. It's not like we're very anxious to do a favor for Carol, but, uh, since it's Thomas asking us, I guess we'll do it. We can assume that the unwanted customer is not here right now. Or he probably would have mentioned it. Looks like they've got a pretty fancy stage up here. It kind of looks familiar. Now let's have a look at the rest of the bar. It looks like back here. Got a dressing room. I suppose Carol uses this. Some stabilizer to calm the nerves, I suppose, uh, before performing on stage. And I guess these mannequins belong to Carol? Mm hmm. Well, since the unwanted customer does not seem to be here now, I guess we can just hang out here in the corner and, uh, kill some time. Don't have anything else to do tonight, I suppose, so, uh, it's as good as anything. Thomas said he comes in at 9 o'clock, 2100. Uh, let's go to 10 o'clock, just to give a little bit of time. And see if this gentleman arrives. He didn't tell us who it is. Or really anything about the person. So I don't know what uh, York's gonna do when the person does show up. Don't see anyone else new in the crowd, but uh, Carol's on stage. Accompanied on the piano. Let's see how they handle a little distraction. What was that? Sounded like a seal. Wow, nerves of steel. And, uh, everyone else, I guess, are those vegetables that York talked about during the town meeting. Other people called vegetables. They don't actually exist. It doesn't look like anyone else is here. Let's, uh, go another two hours. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna need to get something to eat. Ah, oh, look who's here. Huh? Oh.
Hmm. Huh? Yeah, that's right. We did miss going to the uh, the gallery today. That's okay. We'll hit it tomorrow. Well, I know George is the unwanted customer that Thomas mentioned. And it doesn't look like anyone else is here. Uh, hold on. Let's talk to Thomas and get something to eat. Hello? I think, uh, again, we'll have the white fish. All right, back to the corner, I guess. We'll give it another two hours. There's no guarantee that the unwanted customer will come in tonight. And I don't know exactly uh, how long the Galaxy of Terror stays open. I think it opens at around 7 or so. I don't know when it closes, though. Seems like it's open all night, though. Burning through these cigarettes. We're gonna have to buy more as soon as we can, I think. No, doesn't look like there's anyone else here. So, okay, maybe, I mean, it's four in the morning. I don't think that the unwanted customer is gonna be here if he's, uh, not here already. I guess Thomas works at the, uh, the galaxy all night then? Because he's still here. So is George. They have to get to the office tomorrow. I think he's had enough. Whoa, huh? You gonna shoot me? I guess uh, we should get back to the to the hotel. Have a rest for tomorrow when we go to the uh, to the art gallery. <laughs> Oh, um, uh, yeah, that's right. It's after midnight, isn't it? Uh, okay, so we can actually kill this thing now. We have a bit of a better weapon than the machine gun. But we don't really want to get within his range because he'll do a lot of damage if he hits us. He'll do perhaps between a third and one half of a uh, take off that much health if he hits us. Whoop. Uh. So when you fight one of these things, you do want to get into a position where you can shoot him without the dog, the dog being able to uh, to hit you. We don't want to be out in the open like this. But fortunately, the Galaxy of Terror has this fire escape right here, and he can't follow us up. Whoop! Yeah, he can't reach us. So that's to our advantage. Oh, wow, he can reach us. Okay, I was wrong. Back up a little bit here. Well, you can see how much health he took away just from one hit. And I was at maximum health before that. Right, so, does take quite a few shots. And uh, while we're up here, we found a trading card. So those dogs, obviously, as you can see, they're not immortal. You can kill them. Hmm? 
Looks like some shadows came out to play. Oh, shotgunner. Hold on a moment. That was close, actually. Right, so, uh, you do kind of have to watch out when, when doing this as, uh, what? Well, I think there's another one around. Okay. So they can pop up all around you. Okay, so, um, let's head out. Yeah, let's, uh, let's leave for right now. No point in, uh, continuing on with that. Whoop. Okay, so, uh, let's see, where are we going? Well, there's, as I said, there's not too much you can do at night. There is, though, one more thing that we can do that, uh, we have not tried yet. So, after... So uh, that's uh, what we're figuring out now. After the town meeting, as we've seen, there are a few places that uh, that become open that were not open before, such as the Galaxy of Terror, such as the General's Junkyard, and one other place. You might remember that at the uh, town meeting, we talked to Wesley the Gunsmith, who said that he worked at a uh, a gun shop called Panda Bear. We haven't been there yet because uh, it's not open before the town meeting. Before then, Wesley is out of town. As he said, he was called out of town to do some, uh, some private work. So now, it's open. And he said that his gun store is open during the night. I believe it was from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Don't know why he has his office open during those times, but... Oh, and we don't need any more of that, so let's just drive away. Now we can see the gun icon on the mini-map, and that's where the panda bear is, so let's head in there before that dog catches up. Oh. Get out of there. Okay. Alright, here's the panda bear. No enemies around, it seems. Okay, good. So I think this should be the last shop that we have not seen yet. Pretty, uh, pretty crowded. Let's have a chat with Wesley and see what's going on. Hmm. Well, first, let's just see what he has available. Uh, not much else from what we already saw. He's selling a saber, which is a one-handed uh, melee weapon. I believe I do believe we um, we get one of these later anyway. We find one, so don't need to bother with that for right now. But we also saw that he has a side quest marker above his head. Hmm. So let's see what we can do with him. You've got quite a selection here. No wonder people come from all around. Compliments do nothing. I strive to meet my ideals. Others may judge my results. The words of a true craftsman. Your job must be your hobby. No, I have another hobby. You do? Aside from work. Tell me then, what is it? It's nothing special. Since I was a kid, I always liked to collect cards. Cards? Like trading cards? That's right. That reminds me. I got this one after I came to this town. Hmm. This is a precious one. Where did you get it? 
I picked it up around here somewhere. I didn't really think much of it. I see. Then how about a trade? A trade? Here's an idea. As a collector, I just love looking at rare cards. I'd love to take a look at the cards you have. I won't take them from you. <laughs> and I'll give you something, depending on how many you show me. You'll pay me just to look at my cards. You really must be a card freak, huh? Okay, and it's time to start a new side quest chain with Wesley. Now, as uh, Jack the Raging Bull told us before, we could do something with our trading cards with Wesley. So there is a purpose for the cards. This one is uh, if we have eight cards, he'll give us a small thank you. Well, we know we have a lot more than eight. Will you show me your cards? Of course. You've got more than eight. I've never seen any of them before. I appreciate you showing them to me. Here's a little something, as promised. If you find any new cards, come show them to me, will you? So like I said, this is a side quest chain. So there's a number of side quests we have involving these cards. The next one is if we have 16 cards, he'll give us a moderate thank you. And we do have more than 16. Hmm? Wait. Looks like you got a few more cards. Show them to me. Looks like you have more than 16 here. That's very impressive. I appreciate you showing them to me. Here's a little something, as promised. Hold on to it, okay? If you find any new cards, come show them to me, will you? Now the Panda Bear card, like the uh, Milk Barn cards, uh, gives us a discount when we shop at the Panda Bear. The third quest is 32 cards to get a big thank you. Now, I think with the card that Wesley gave us, the trading card of himself, I think that brings us to 32. Let's see if I'm right about that. Hey, hold on. You got more cards. More than 32, actually. How did you find so many all at once? I appreciate you showing them to me. Here's a little something, as promised. That'll give you more life when you wear it. Hold on to it, okay? If you find any new cards, come show them to me, will you? So the next, uh, the next one, Great Collector, we're not going to have enough cards for that one right now. That one is... Okay, I think there is some kind of problem, some kind of glitch here, because this one is Normal Collector for 32 cards. Yeah, the next one, it doesn't say it's started yet, but the next one, Great Collector, I think it's... You have to bring him 48 cards to get another reward. So we'll be coming back once we have that many cards. As for what Wesley gave us, he gave us the Passion Red Suit and told us that it'll give us more life when we wear it. Now, what does that mean? Oh, actually, first, uh, make sure you don't miss that Agent Honor in the dark. What does that mean? Well, the uh, Passion Red Suit is a suit that actually does something when you wear it. It, it extends your life bar. None of the other suits so far has actually uh, have any kind of status effect. This is the first one that has, and... Uh, Right, yeah, ju let's just leave. And at this point, there's really nothing else we can do out here. Oh, wait, hold on. Right, so since there's nothing else we can do, it's time to go back to the hotel, I think. And with that, it means it's time to see what George's radio does. 
it brings us back to the facility we visited. So, that means... We've got fast travel. We use the radio and you can instantly warp to any location we've been to before. However, it only works for places we've been to, so I could not use that to warp to the Galaxy of Terror or to the Panda Bear just now, because we hadn't been there before. Now that we have been there, we can use that at any time. But where we want to go, for right now, is back to the hotel. Now, I, I don't... Oh, looks like they're here, too. I wonder if Polly knows she's got zombies out here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go inside. Now, I don't like to use the radio too much, because I think a big part of the game is driving around Greenville and exploring it. And if you just use the radio to travel everywhere you're gonna go, you're gonna miss a lot of that. Because a lot of it really is just coming across things, random things, as you're traveling around and seeing what's out there. The radio is good for convenience when you need to use it, but I don't think we should use it all the time. But it'll be handy to have. And, uh, it's time to go to bed, and tomorrow we'll be going to the art gallery, for real this time. We really will be going there. And I think this video has gone on long enough, so instead of saving, I think I'm going to finish the video and then make sure it's say, uh, that it uh, recorded all the way before I say, uh, save it in the game. Okay, so it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I think a six-hour sleep should do it. And I'll see you next time when we head to the art gallery and finally meet this mysterious Diane. See you then. Yeah.